going on? So I'm back at it a little bit. Took her out for a ride yesterday. Went and got the side windows tinted. Um, she ran pretty good. She's very uh, grunty. Uh, I'd say between two and 4,000 RPMs. Really gets in, it's like it's digging, really wanting it. Um, but there still is a little bit of idle surge. There still is a little bit of um, uh, hesitation. Not really hesitation, but I don't know. It's just uh, hard to explain. It seems like it's kind of revved up, when, mostly when I'm idling. So I do suspect, again, that that EGR valve is bad. I did get a new one. I am going to replace it. I'm just tired of messing with it. Run another smoke test and hopefully I'll uh, put a little bit of the Carper Hour TV on there. That was uh, recommended. I'll put that on there too this time as a safeguard. And then, um, yeah, I'll try the smoke test again and make sure it works good. But I uh, also bought two new O2 sensors because I think they're probably as old as the car. There was a receipt with my car that I bought. It said that they were replaced, but I think that was like two years ago. Or one was replaced, but who knows? You still could function or uh, still could fail. But So I pulled this one off. This is on the driver's side, and I got this white substance on there. I don't know if that's fuel, normal. I think some, some has said uh, I've read that it's running lean. Maybe I need to check the plugs, too, and see what those look like. But I'm going to continue putting these two new uh, Motorcraft um, O2 sensors on. And uh, after that's down, drop the car, and I'm going to put this new EGR valve on, too. I just bought it. I'm just going to spring and buy it. It's probably as old as the uh, car, too. So there was smoke coming out of it when I did the smoke test, and I'm reading that it shouldn't have any smoke coming out. And then I got this minor little problem here. You see I got a nice rub mark on my uh, intake. It's not anywhere else on it, but it's tapping the hood a little bit right there. So I don't know. Talked about that spacer in there. Maybe that spacer needs to come out. Or maybe I leave it there and just get put a little pad up here or something. A little, one of those little stick pads so it just doesn't rub, rub on there like that. But Let me know your opinions on that uh, O2 sensor. Maybe about this too. Thanks.